A retired FDNY firefighter is in the battle of his life. Despite working at Ground Zero on 9-11, he says nothing prepared him for the personal tragedy of Alzheimer's. His wife was diagnosed at an early age, and he tells CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan that he wants to raise awareness about emotional and financial hardships of the disease, breaking families apart. I went to the Home Depot, I got purple paint, which is the color for Alzheimer's, and I said, I'm going to put this up there. From airplanes above, which often fly over their Deer Park home, Jeff Ray is hoping someone looking down will be inspired. I was just so frustrated with the disease, I had to do something. Jeff's wife, Bonnie, 58 years old, diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. She'd been a math whiz and a baker. Anybody needed a cake for the school, the church, a chapel? she would be there. Proud parents of three sons who initially began noticing their mom's forgetfulness. Now she barely walks or speaks. Yeah. Jeff, retired FDNY who served at Ground Zero, worries for Alzheimer's families broken by the financial hardship of unaffordable future full-time care facilities. I went out and I did a tour of about 12 of them and they're starting at 7,200 a month. There are less costly alternatives. Here for the adult day program, we are the step before that. So we try to lengthen their stay in their own home. Gerwin Rehab in Comac offers daytime Alzheimer's supervision and social activities. The Ray family is pushing a worldwide effort to find better ways to treat Alzheimer's, delay its onset, even prevent it from developing. We educate, open the eyes and hearts of America. Alzheimer's patient numbers will swell to 7 million in America next year, ages dropping into the 40s. It's extremely difficult because your loss of love, the response, the hug, the, the hello, the kiss, the tenderness of getting an opinion back when there's, it's, there's emptiness. From Deer Park, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Ray says that he is searching for like-minded people to help him on his mission, hoping a student doctor might fly over his home and be inspired to switch from orthopedics to neurology. Literally, whatever it takes. Yeah. It's so frustrating.